Hi everyone, my name is Rachel from the Marks Group Live, um, and I'm here today to teach you about Zoho Connect, um, how to use Zoho Connect. Um, this is part two in our series of videos for this particular app. So if you are unfamiliar with Zoho Connect, if you've never used it before, uh, please feel free to check out our part one video. It goes over how to set up and create users um, and add friends on this social media business app. And um, then come and check us out here, which goes into a little more depth about all the things you can do in this app. Um, if you have any questions after this video, please feel free to email us at support at marksgrouplive.com. I'll make sure I have that email posted on the other slides of this video. Um, and also, please feel free to rate this video. That not only it help, uh, helps us improve our video library, but it also helps other Zoho users uh, find us. All right, so today in class, we are going to review what are the different ways that you can communicate with other members in Zoho Connect. Um, how can you use Zoho Connect to organize your business using tasks, using chat, using Connect, um, and what are some of the third-party plugins that you can use in this app? So let's get started. Oh, access denied. What's going on here? <laughs> um, here we are at our uh, main page of Zoho Connect. Um, and the very first thing that uh, I'm going to go over is tasks. So you can access tasks in, um, you know, in this app on the left-hand side. You'll see the little tasks button. I'll go ahead and click that. And it will take us to the tasks page. I don't know why that was giving us an access <laughs> denied here. But um, automatically, if you are logging into this app for the very first time, it will show you this sample board. And this sample board is a nice little way. It really goes over all of the different things you can do in tasks. Um, I'm not going to go over all of these. I do think this is pretty user friendly, um, but it, it, you know, it shows you what you can do in the tasks. I mean, I'll briefly review it, pretty much all of this, um, but I'm not going to go over it in detail because again, I think this is pretty user friendly. So, oopsie daisy. Um, what we're going to do here is the tasks uh, in Zoho Connect allow you to organize them by different boards. So essentially what a board is, is a place for um, you to organize your tasks. And you can um, share these boards with other members of your social network. So maybe this is a to-do list. Um, and I created this board and I, I split it into three sections. I split it into a to-do section, an in-progress section, and a complete section. You can always create a new, um, a new task just by clicking the plus button in any one of these sections. I will say, um, prepare for presentation on spring... 2018 product or 2019 oh my gosh products and that's in my to-do um, if I click on that a little more it'll give me some um, options for this task you can add a checklist um, view products great PowerPoint etc 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 Oh my goodness, I cannot type. Um, it allows you to upload attachments. It'll show you the activities, what has been happening within this task. You can add comments to this task. You can set a due date by the 13th. You can set reminders, you know, on the 13th at 12. Priorities, status, is this an open? Is it started? Is it in progress? We'll say this is started. You can add tasks. Um, I'll say 2019. <laughs> you can repeat this task. I mean, this is similar to the tasks in um, in the Zoho CRM, but uh, you know, here is here is the task. You can also share this with other people. But the nice thing is, 
is if this is um, if this board is shared with multiple people, multiple people will be able to see this task. This was on my to-do list. Maybe I started it. I can move it to my in progress section. It's really, really nice. Um, so I will create a new board today. Um, since this is a social network, maybe I will create a task board. Maybe you have a social committee at your office. So maybe I'll create a new board for that. Social committee. Um, this is a place where the social committee can add tasks. Um, you can add members to this board, as I said. We don't really have many users connected in this particular uh, site because this is our test environment. So I'll add uh, the TMG Live Admin. If you click on this, there are many members. They'll kind of drop down in a mem uh, menu and you can add them. You can also search by name here. There are some templates that are available, but I think it's pretty easy to create a board from scratch. So I will go ahead and create, and it will be a blank board. Um, so similarly, into the to-do, there are three sections. We'll go ahead to the social committee and we'll create some sections for that. Um, maybe these will be birthdays. Um, we'll create a new section. Um, maybe there's a company, softball league. Um, oh, where'd it go? Um, and then let's say life events, weddings, babies, retirement. And then you can go ahead and add tasks to that um, if you want. Um, I created a social committee group um, here. If you were to post on the social committee group page, um, meeting to plan Linda's retirement party Tuesday at lunch, um, I'll go ahead and share that. And one of the nice things about this is you can create a task right from a post in a feed. So how you do that is you go ahead and click on the little check mark. It'll say add task. You can click on that and it will let you add a task. Um, Linda's retirement planning. You can assign it to different people. You can place it on a specific board. I'm going to place it on the social committee board and then it'll ask you to choose which section. This is in the life events section. You can set a due date. You can set a reminder. I'll set a reminder for Tuesday at noon just to remember to go there. I'll go ahead and create. So if you exit out of that, we go to our tasks. We click on our social committee. You will see this right here. So that is tasks. One of the other things with tasks that you can do is if you click on this dot dot, well, let me actually go over all of this. The first is you can switch the views of how you see the tasks or how the tasks are organized. <coughs> Excuse me, it's turning into allergy season over here. Um, the first thing you can do is, is you can check the views. So the section view obviously is in these sections that you created. They will, the tasks will all be listed here. List view is just what it sounds like. It'll go ahead and list your tasks. Calendar view will allow you to see when a task is on a calendar. Now, while I set a reminder for the 12 for Linda's uh, lunch, I didn't actually set a calendar. So let's go ahead and do that quickly so you can see what that looks like. Change it from calendar view to section view. I'll click on Linda's retirement. Let me add a due date of the 12th. Exit out of that. Go ahead and click on calendar view. It should pop up there, Linda's retirement planning. 
You can print this. You can run statistics on um, on your tasks if they're more business oriented. You can add members to this uh, to this group or to a specific task. You can save a task as a template. You can import users from other CRMs or other um, or other uh, third party plugins. You can import tasks from other places, maybe from the C from Zoho CRM or from Click um, or another app. You can export this board to somewhere else, or you can follow it, which means that if you follow it, you'll get a little notification every time a new task is added. So that is your tasks. Um, it's pretty. It's a pretty helpful, nicely organized uh, feature of this app. The next thing we're going to talk about is manuals. Um, essentially, manuals are just that. They are. You can upload things like your company manual, you can upload SOPs, you can create them here in, um, in the app itself. Uh, how you do that is you click the blue plus button up in the upper right hand corner. I'll call this a test manual. Test. You can add um, contributors, which is people who can edit this specific manual. Um, you can add whole groups of people, or you can just add one person or a few people. And then in here, you can go ahead and create articles, which are essentially chapters. Um, I just want to show you how you can interact with these a little bit. Um, this is a little bit different than, you know, if you just upload this onto an intranet, because um, what you can do over here on the side, people can add comments. Um, like this is interesting post it um, and people will be able to see this and interact with these manuals next is files um, this is just a place that you can upload company files um, it's just another place of storage um, there is a files app in Zoho one which is literally this but in its own separate app um, but you know, this is just a place to upload group files. Um, and you can also categorize files for a specific group. So if you have, you know, going with our social uh, committee uh, example we're using in this video, maybe you have a list of social events every year, um, you can, you know, upload files for that. Next are events. Um, this is just a calendar to organize your events. Um, if you click on, you know, you can create events for specific groups if you have groups. Uh, you can create events that are private. You can create events that are for the whole company. People can share events with you by clicking these little boxes next to these options on the left-hand side. Uh, you can choose what you see or don't see on your calendar. To create a new event, you go to the up, upper right-hand corner, this little blue plus button, and you can go ahead and create events. Um, you can do this with just like a, a regular event. Um, you can create a video conference if you have a meeting. You can create a Showtime um, event, which essentially is Zoho's training platform where you can um, do webinars uh, with other people, trainings that are over the computer and not live. The next thing we're going to review is channels. So essentially, channels are little group chats that allow you to communicate with other people. Um, so I made a social committee sub-channel. Um, how you create a new channel, just like everything else in this app, up in the right-hand corner, there's the little plus button. You can go ahead and create a new channel. Fill that out. You'll agree to the terms of use and privacy policy that is provided by Zoho Click. You have any confusions about this um, Zoho click is similar to an app like slack um, that allows you to communicate with other people um, in your business uh, but I'll go ahead and go back so if you're on your channels where you will see these chats happen is down at the bottom as you can see there's that hashtag or pound sign social committee channel and I can go ahead and say I'm 
I'll go ahead and set that and it'll just look like a little uh, instant message. You can add um, files to this. You can, um, there are different actions that you can do. Um, we go over how to use these channels and all of the different functions of these channels in our review of the Click app. Um, so please check that out if you have questions about how you can really use this to the uh, best of your, you know, abilities. Uh, if you want, you can open the chat automatically in Click. You can add a participant if you want to add someone new to the channel or group. You can leave the channel. You can pin it, which means that it'll be right on your home screen. Or you can mute it. You can mute it for maybe you have work to do and people are, you know, <laughs> messing around in this. You can mute it for an hour, eight hours, one day, a week, maybe you're going away on vacation. But that is channels. Over here, you have the custom apps. You have the um, forums. Custom apps just allows you to create your own apps within um, within this platform. If there's something that you know your needs aren't met, you can go ahead and, and do that. You can also use this to automate any workflows. Forums. It's a place that you can you know it's it's essentially a uh, uh, what's the word I'm looking for. Um, I mean, forum is, is all I can say. It's, it's a maybe an online interactive blog where you can um, discuss things together. As a, uh, as a company, people can interact with that. So the last thing I want to go over here is the third-party integrations um, and plugins that you can integrate with Zoho Connect. So if you go over to the right hand side, you can see I'm highlighting this little plug uh, icon. It says integrations. This shows you all of the different things that you can connect with your, um, with your Zoho Connect. So it's pretty easy. It walks you through how you can connect this information. Um, maybe you wanna connect this to your Dropbox. Um, what you can do. I mean, when you click on it, it just teaches you how you can integrate it. It is pretty simple. So again, there are many different ways that you can communicate with others in Zoho Connect using channels, using tasks, using, um, you know, just posting on your uh, main timeline. Um, you know, you can organize things using the tasks function. You can create manuals um, that will have information for your employees. Um, and, you know, there is a wide variety of plugins that you can integrate um, into, into this uh, pretty fun app. It's not necessarily uh, the end-all, be-all app that's needed for your um you know, your business needs. There are certainly other ways that you can communicate, but I personally think that this is a really fun way for your employees to interact with each other, a fun way to send reminders. Um, you can also certainly use this for project management. You can certainly use this um, to build uh, morale throughout the office. I think uh, it's definitely worth checking out and trying for yourself. So thank you so much uh, for checking us out today. If you have any questions about Zoho Connect or any other apps, please send us an email at support at marksgrouplive.com and uh, check out the rest of our archive to see um, videos about any and all things Zoho. Have a great day.